So the problem with that data is when you look at the uh, confounding variables, for example, fever, which would be the number one reason to take Tylenol in pregnancy, and then the outcomes from women that just had fever and didn't take Tylenol, there's an increase in autism. So when you control for the confounding risk factors, in the majority of studies, the association falls away. It's not even associated, let alone showing causation. So remember, um, as a friend of mine on uh, social media, Nini in the Brain, and you guys have to check her out because she's brilliant, uh, posted, there's no question that if you get a uh you know association with something it looks like there's a relationship so she very aptly points out the fact that there is an association between lululemon yoga pants sales and autism it's like the exact same curve on the graph they're clearly associated but there's no causation obviously lululemon yoga pants have nothing to do with the rise in autism nor does the rise in the use of yoga which the yoga pants were for or avocado toast which also rose the same frequency as autism all of these different things are associated but none of them show causation so the problem with tylenol is it's associated but it's not causal 